Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Now there's a very interesting situation happening down in Florida right now. Uh, down in the Florida Keys, they are scheduled to release modified mosquitoes to fight illness. This is what they're saying, right? So these are genetically engineered or genetically modified mosquitoes. The plan is to release millions of them millions of them. They said that they're going to be releasing male mosquitoes so that they can mate with female mosquitoes. And all of this is what they're claiming to be is an effort to reduce the population of mosquitoes that transmit disease. And so whenever I hear of these things and I hear what they are claiming, what they're saying, oh, it's for the greater good. It's to make things better. It's to improve things, to lessen the, the effect of mosquito-borne uh, diseases that are transmitted from the sting. When they say these things, I always get a sense of the whole Frankenstein thing, how they try to create something that they tell you is going to be better for you or that's going to help in some way, but it never turns out that way. Never turns out that way. The same was said many, many years ago, actually decades ago. Um, they had commercials out where they were saying GMOs are good for you. They were actually telling you that genetically modified food was good for you back in the day. And now fast forward and we find that that is far from the truth. As a matter of fact, it's very harmful. The same with cigarettes, uh, old commercials. You can search. Um, there are some old commercials that are circulating on YouTube and other areas where uh, they were telling you at one time that cigarette smoking was good for you. They were using commercials and and leave it to beaver looking moms to convince you that you can smoke and even be pregnant at the same time. So they use the propaganda machine to pretty much stir up your mind to saying, oh, well, they said it was okay. They said it was safe. Who are these they? Who are they? Most of the people that say they said don't even know who they are don't even know what's on the other side of the they. It's just something to say, and everyone does it. Everyone does it, or at least a lot of people have, where they'll say they said. And you use that as some type of factual information to justify something or to say something is all right. But they always say things that are not true. They always say things that are not factual. And so for them to say, I mean, of course, they put a lot of studies into things, but you can find a study to combat everything. This is why you'll have one study that'll say this is good and another will say the same thing is bad. A whole different study. They have this whole thing mapped out. Life is almost mapped out to where it's a two-way street. They can justify it over here or they make it uh, something bad over there, you see. And both sides typically have facts to prove or back up what they are claiming. And so this is where using your own brain comes in. This is where it comes in where you've got to start thinking for yourself instead of reading something that they said and taking it at face value or as factual proof of anything. Because many times when they say things, they are not always right, you see. And so I know how I feel about genetically modified anything. This is basically going against the creator. He created mosquitoes to be a certain way and what you're doing is you're saying, I'm going to improve his design and I'm going to do something different. And whenever you have a hybrid anything, it's never as good as the original. It's a watered down version or it's a tainted version, a compromised version, you see. But yet, here you go, there are people who will say, oh, They'll, they'll read the article, they'll read the reports, and they'll say, well, oh, they're going to, oh, what they're going to do 
is the male mosquitoes, which don't bite, would contain a genetic change in a protein that would render any offspring unable to survive, thus reducing the population of the insects that transmit disease. In theory. Now, I just read to you a portion of the article. They threw that last part in there. They say, in theory. So they are theorizing. They don't have any proof of anything. They don't know yet. But in theory, this is what they are telling you is going to happen. But I guess this is another one of those we shall see things because whenever mankind gets to tinkering with what was created by the creator, it never turns out the same. It usually turns out worse, you see, because it goes against the original design. But... People are going to think and believe whatever they want. I mean, science has convinced a lot of people that they came out of a big bang and we just kind of mosey on up out of the water and we all just took different shapes and forms. Some became birds, some became frogs, some became humans. There are people who actually believe that. Anyway, I'm done with this video, you all. Tell me what you think in the comments section about this GMO mosquito that they are creating down in Florida. If you haven't already, please like the channel, share this video, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much, and I will see you on the next round. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.